And here we are, Wembley, April 1963, England versus Scotland, the deciding match for the International Championship. A match appropriately fit to grace the new magnificent Wembley Stadium. As you can see, the flags fluttering beautifully in the afternoon breeze, the new floodlights erected for the new Wembley Stadium itself, the new apron stand, the new press box, but the same old Wembley magic, the same old Wembley pitch. And the stage set for the decisive match of the 1962-63 International Championship. And off we go, Scotland kick off with no late changes on either side. The team's at full strength, England quickly first of all. Banks, Armfield, Byrne, Moore, Norman and Flowers, Douglas, Greaves, Smith, Mealy and Charlton. And Scotland going through in the opening seconds here. Right half Moore dribbling about in his own penalty box, coolly turning the ball downfield. A long one from Mackay it is. Turned back to Mackay, sticks his foot in, it's still in play, Henderson has possession. St John back to Henderson, Henderson out in front, nobody there, and my goodness, nearly a sensation there as Moore turned the ball back to Banks who had to throw himself full length to save. Long kick downfield, an awkward one, Smith, nice control, overrunning it, Caldo steps in, picked up by Ewer, Caldo hot there, Smith, both of them clashing, surely the Wembley hoodoo is not going to strike so early in this game. Both players lying into the ground, but away comes Scotland, Smith and Caldo lying in agony inside the Scottish half. Play raging on. Referee Leo Horn giving Scotland the advantage. Douglas gives the ball back to the goalkeeper. And the whistle does finally go. Six minutes gone here at Wembley and a moment of real drama as Eric Caldo and Bobby Smith lie stretched out on the turf. Both clashing for a loose ball. Caldo seems to be in real pain there. Trainer Harvey moving in. Bobby Smith also in trouble and it looks as if a stretch has been called for my goodness gracious me so soon in this game tragedy strikes for Scotland and it could also be the same for England too Baxter lying on the ground with Hamilton trying to comfort the Scottish captain Greaves shouting for a stretcher one comes out very quickly Wembley the ground with the amazing reputation of causing an injury or at least one serious injury in Big game after big game. Bobby Smith limping off. It doesn't seem to be too badly hurt, but what can we say about Caldo? Scottish team manager Ian McCall coming on from the far side. The Scottish players having a midfield conference here. Scotland losing their captain before the game really gets underway. And the English players are also grouped round the very still forum of Eric Caldo, when Ian Ewer came over to help him up, he waved him away and said, just leave me, and there he, there he goes. Caldo goes off, accompanied by Ian McCall, trainer Harvey, Davy Wilson, Dennis Law in there. The Scots having a quick conference to see which way they're, what they're going to do about this. Smith's uh, knees are being examined. Alf Ramsey, the England team manager in there as well. And let's fervently hope that these are not serious injuries, but at the moment it doesn't look at all good and I wonder if we'll see these talented players back on the field again in this game. We'll just have to wait and see. So there it is. That's taken up three or four minutes of our time. Play goes on immediately in front of us here with a throw in to Scotland on the halfway line. Well, we'll see if this game, which opened so brilliantly, can fulfill the promise. Wilson has dropped back to half-back. Baxter's lying deep and it looks as if the Scots are going to play a man shot on the left wing. Wilson into the middle. Over it comes. Good save by goalkeeper Banks. Greaves from England. Scotland and England, each with ten men. The crowd roars for Scotland. White and Henderson, the two little ones, facing six footers. Here comes a curling cross. It's a good one. Punched away by Banks, but not cleared. Milia for England. Baxter working hard on this game for Scotland. St John in the centre, this could be dangerous. There goes the pass, if Henderson could reach it, it could be dangerous also. Henderson now with Law on the right, backing up. Winding into the centre, Henderson needs to beat his man, which he does. Henderson gets it across. St John, nobody there. 
Almost a chance for Baxter, but I think he just felt he couldn't reach it. But he does get possession. It could still be dangerous. Baxter for Scotland. There's a goal! Nine minutes gone and 30,000 Scots for mad left half Baxter got two chances at it magnificent left foot crusher into the back of the net England nothing Scotland won England fighting for the equaliser putting it back Mackay gets there first takes the ball away from Milius toes Scotland playing with great courage white back to Mackay Mackay across the far side Hamilton coming through first time to white Scotland playing well Mackay in beautiful open position for a return pass turns it through to Law one, two, three, four men moving in as Law trying to set it up. Wiggling his way through here, a back heeler to Mackay. Mackay has a go, it's blocked. It's back again to Mackay, trying to steer it onto the wing, which he does. Henderson has it now. Henderson coming through. Cuts in field inside the box. There he comes, a penalty! Penalty to Scotland. <laughs> 31 minutes of the game gone. What a chance for Scotland to go two goals up. Eric Caldo, the captain, is off. Mackay says to Baxter, it's up to you, Jim. And here comes Baxter to make it 2 nothing for Scotland, we hope. What a glorious chance this could be for Scotland. Chance of a lifetime for Jim Baxter. Here he comes. He's there! Two goals in four minutes. Scotland's Wembley hopes go soaring. Two goals for Scotland, two goals for Baxter. And the whole complexion of the game dramatically, sensationally changed. Off they go into the second half. Scotland with ten men, no sign of Eric Carlo. England with Bobby Smith just collecting a pass back in the side. Put it outside right. Eleven against ten. Ten and a half against ten. And right away it's Greaves going through. Scotland defending Doodley and Law passing back to Bill Brown immediately. A roar for England as Charlton comes racing through the centre with Greaves on his left and Douglas on his right. Out it goes to Douglas. Douglas working his way in back to Charlton. Charlton lining up for a shot but he's blocked in the last minute. Greaves shoots. A fantastic save by Brown. Brown hot though as Wilson jumped over his head. A fabulous save by the Scots goalie though. 11 minutes to go as Ewer misses his chance. Great chance here for Douglas to score for England. It's there. 